You cannot get evicted in Colorado because of a financial hardship due to COVID-19. The statewide eviction moratorium is now in effect. Good evening. I'm Jim Benneman. And I'm Karen Lee. Thanks for being with us tonight. Jacqueline Quinn working on the story for us. And Jacqueline, the governor reinstated this policy after allowing it to lapse earlier during the pandemic. Why? Well, Karen, it's pretty specific, you know, going over some of the things here. It's going to guarantee that a person cannot get evicted so long as they can prove that they are suffering from hardships related to the coronavirus. Uh, it requires a person to fill out a form and that they're making $99,000 or less or 198000 if it's a couple. When you have to really slim down, which is... Nothing new. I've, I've been poor before, you know, but this is a whole different kind of poor. It's Greg Ferguson tells us he's a veteran of the food service industry in Denver. Like thousands, he began feeling the pandemic's impacts early. His restaurant had to shut down and ended up going out of business. You know, if you're not making enough money and you can't pay off everything and you just get behind and then you just, I mean, even when you do get money, it's like, it's, you know, it's kind of frustrating. Not only is he trying to find a new job, uh, but his roommate, who's dealing with medical issues, is also in the same unemployment boat. You know, food stamps or whatever he's, he's got, you know. But the, every little bit of money that we have is, is pretty much just going to living. The eviction moratorium will at least buy the two more time to find steadier footing. We have asked our neighbors to make sacrifices uh, by closing down businesses, implementing social distancing. And the least we can do is make sure that those neighbors who have been impacted can stay housed right now. Javier Mabry, an attorney with the COVID-19 Defense Project, helped push for this extension. Who really needs to step up and act is the United States Congress. We need meaningful rent relief for tenants, and we need mortgage relief for landlords who are having trouble paying their mortgage. After working five to six days a week, Ferguson calls this break the worst vacation he's ever had. And it's just, you're just getting, you're digging a hole, basically, that hopefully we can fill. Now, the language right now says that this is for 30 days. However, the governor has said that he's working on this. We know through a tweet from Senator Julie Gonzalez, a leader on housing, that she confirms that she is working with the governor and that he is committed to extending this through the end of the year. Reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, covering Colorado First.